between 20 to 30 dollars as a beginner and you can literally scale up to 150 to 200 or even more based on your expertise and your skill set hey guys welcome back so in this video i'm going to talk about top seven skill set that you can learn that pays really well and also are high in demand on freelance market i will talk about everything the work they do what kind of skill set they require how much time does it take to learn this particular skill set and how much money they earn on these freelancing platforms i will talk about everything in detail so make sure you pay your attention to understand each and every point that i'm trying to say here in this age we are getting so many different startups coming to the market and becoming a unicorn one of the most important people in the company is someone who can design and brand their product in the market. So number one on the list is we have designers. Designers are the backbone of any organization from building a product and packaging it properly so that it can be marketable is one of the most important skills of a designer. People leave application if the design is quite difficult to understand or people won't click on blog or video if the thumbnail isn't good. Design includes everything from UI UX such as Figma or Adobe XD. Building motion graphics, the text you see right now from of your screen is called is a motion graphic that can be used onto video editing software and designing thumbnails and product designs such as tools using photoshop and canva there is so much work you can do onto designing before starting this youtube channel i did not know about how to create thumbnails how to edit videos and all the other things so i had to learn and it took me around two to three months to just to learn all these skills so if you are a completely beginner if you don't know how to get into design then you can literally start and build your portfolio into two to three months and on average designers charge around 15 to 20 dollars on freelancing market for a beginner and you can literally scale your hourly rate from 200 to 300 dollars after the designer comes the web developer so before you jump to next section just stick with me and try to understand what kind of skills needed for the web developer on this freelancing platform people think that web developer has too much competition and it is difficult to get freelance work as a web developer but that is not true there is enough work available in the market you just need to be skilled enough to get the work so who are web developers people who work on overall website development and i don't mean just using code you can learn about wordpress webflow and all the other tools and get the work on these freelancing platforms learning web development will take you around three to four months and building your portfolio over there so basic skill set are needed such as html css javascript these are the fundamental skills of the web development then if you want to scale your skill then you can go on to something called as Mernstack. So Mernstack is basically MongoDB, React, Express and Node.js so you can start learning that. Now if you don't want to go with the coding path then you can choose the WordPress or the Webflow. Generally web developer charges between 10 to 20 dollars as a beginner but you can literally scale and charge per hourly around 100 to 150 dollars on this freelancing platform. When I search on Google about something such as how to learn web development you see these things come on the top. Now there are more than hundreds of websites that can answer this question. But why these things are coming on the top? The reason is search engine optimization. So the SEO expert basically makes sure that your website ranks on the top of the Google search list. So they will do some tweakings into keyword meta tags and write your content in a such a way that when people searches about that particular content, your website will get top ranks on the search engines. No matter how good your product is or how good your website is, when the people is trying to search about something and if your website does not come on the top, then it is completely useless. SEO expert generally earns between 15 to 20 dollars and you can scale up to 80 to 100 dollars or even more than that if you have like deep expertise in this particular field you know all the companies have one goal in the mind that is basically improving their business and day-to-day -day life cycle and on this channel we mainly focus on data parts so data analytics data engineering or data science so you predicted right that number four on the list is we have the data analytics data engineering data science and everything related to data the reason i'm taking these skills in one section is that they have so many skills overlap all the data project has one goal at the end is to extract value from the data and help business to take decisions and improve their day-to-day -day life cycle the fundamental skills required are pretty simple you just need to know one programming language you can start with the python if you don't know any programming language then after learning programming language you can learn about sql that is basically structured query language it is a way you communicate with your database and you will be working with the SQL a lot when you get into your data field. And on top of this, you will also have to learn about uh, data manipulation and how to visualize your data. As a data expert, you can charge between 20 to 30 dollars as a beginner and you can literally scale up to 150 to 200 or even more based on your expertise and your skill set. Now to run any task or host any website, we need computers or servers. Previously, companies used to build their servers from the scratch by purchasing RAM, hard disk and all the other things and configure it together so that they can run their websites and all the other computational tasks on those servers. Now these days, people generally don't build their own servers. 
rather than they just rent it from different cloud providers. So number fifth on the list is cloud computing. Understanding and learning cloud is the best skill you can have. Whether you are a web developer, data engineer, data scientist or anyone, you will use cloud most of the time in your projects to do many different things. You can also become a cloud engineer where the responsibilities will be to manage cloud servers, do networking, set up securities and many more. There are mainly three cloud platforms that are available in the market, AWS, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform, GCP and Microsoft Azure. Now you can pick any cloud platform and start learning but if you have confusion like what to pick, I'll tell you that start with the AWS because it has the highest market segment and after learning cloud you can literally start your freelancing career on to these platforms. Generally cloud engineer charges between 10 to 15 dollars as a beginner because they manage servers and monitor all those sorts of things. But you can literally scale your skills to like 80 to 100 dollars depending on your skill set and experience. Now number 6 on the list is machine learning engineer. You know machine learning is somewhat end part of any product life cycle. Once companies collect data then they want to extract information and automate it or do some kind of prediction for the future. Consider the example of Amazon, you get recommendation based on your search history related products bought by users and many more. These things can be achieved using machine learning and there are so many different jobs available in the market as an ML freelancer. Again, these jobs are high in demand but they don't have the good enough supply of the quality machine learning engineers on the market. So generally when companies are not able to find the quality employee for the companies, they start looking for the expert or a freelancer on this freelancing platform so that they can get started with the machine learning part and get going with that machine learning project. ML engineers generally charge between 30 to 40 dollars per hour as a beginner and you can scale your skill around like 200 to 300 dollars per hour again based on your skill set and experience. With the tech and other skill, there is one more skill that is on the rise and the skill is game development. The rise of eSport and the gaming has been really fast. And when the demand rises, we also need to increase the supply. So the game developers are in high demand these days. You can easily start learning about game development by learning these engines such as Unity or Unreal Engine. PUBG which is highly played game amongst the youngster these days is built using Unreal Engine. So if you are someone who is interested in game development then you can learn about and start earning. It takes around 6 months to learn some of the skills of the game development and you can do the freelancing after you learn the basics. People generally charge like 40 to 50 dollars as a beginner and you can again scale your charges to 200 to 300 dollars if you are good enough. So before you close your video I have one announcement to make. So if you are interested in freelancing and if you want to build your career into freelancing so you can check the link in the description to learn more about it. And again, if you found this video helpful and if you have any other suggestion for the skill set that I forgot, then you can also tell me in the comment. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.